Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another Super Tease video. And 9.2 just got announced. And with it, we have confirmed that you will be able to wear two legendaries. Your Covenant-specific legendary plus one additional legendary. Which means there are a lot of nasty, nasty, nasty combinations of legendaries moving into this next patch that you might want to be aware of and also might want to plan for, whether it be unlocking the recipes or gathering the resources to craft them now so that when this patch inevitably comes, you're going to be more than ready for it. And there were a lot. I wanted to break it down to seven that stood out to me at the moment for what is going to be the most overpowered. This is a PvP list. I just want to point that out as well. It is moving kind of in order of weakest to strongest uh, somewhat there might be a little bit of shuffling around because we don't know exactly if there's going to be any class tuning that's what we're really waiting for which could make some of these combinations change and if you want to make sure that you're on top of those patch changes then make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I always deliver them almost immediately when they're uploaded uh, so you'll know right away and you can listen to those updated patch notes right here on this channel or if in the future the game is interesting to you then being subscribed to this channel will notify you and potentially get you a dragged back in with the rest of us but other than that uh, without further ado let's get started here uh, the first legendary combination is going to be going to a balanced druid this is specifically the Kyrian balanced druid so not really changing too much in regards to pvp this now combination will allow you kindred affinity um, which is giving you stat boosts and more particularly if you're paired up with a necro lord ally something like an elemental shaman or a shadow priest you're going to be granting versatility getting a ton of damage out of this and you can also now couple it with balance of all things which is going to grant you a tremendous amount of critical strike every time you hit eclipse so as long as you're pairing up these eclipse timings as the same point of activating kindred spirits you are going to be launching out some ridiculously massive star surges a lot more frequently than ever so this is really just upping the ante uh, for Kyrian balance druid we're seeing a lot more of it now in the ladder paired up with elemental shamans this is really going to make that combo take it home uh, in the next patch now moving over to the next set of legendaries, we're going to be looking at a healer, and with this one, it is the Resto Druid. Uh, and with this one, of course, Necro Lord, going to be getting enhanced even further. You're going to be running the Locust Swarm, which means that your Adaptive Swarm has a 60% chance to split into two swarms. So this is going to be some of your purge protection, most importantly, as a Resto Druid. If this thing starts splitting like crazy and you're getting these extra heal over time effects to soak up purges, you might even remove that weakness almost entirely uh, in PvP. And Resto Druid is already very powerful, could be god level healer um, as a result of this, although it may appear underwhelming at first glance. Remove that weakness from the druid is going to be a significant power gain and then of course the verdant infusion fusion the legendary that pretty much all rest of the druids have been running for the entire expansion allowing your swiftmen to extend your heal over time effects most notably used on the scenarian ward uh, you can use flourish to extend that even further so you're gonna have massive single target healing in that regard locust swarm will pad your aoe healing as well as give you some additional purge protection i do think as a close runner up that resto shaman as necro lord is going to be getting uh, a nice little actually sorry not resto shaman i'm mixing up i'm mixing up for a second there i was thinking you could run the earthquake and the earth shield legendary but unfortunately you can't because you would have to run the necro lord specific one uh, i was thinking maybe the resto shaman but no my mistake there you're not going to be able to have that crazy combo resto druid running away with this one i think now moving forward to the third one we will be looking at windwalker monks as Necro Lord, you will be getting the Bountiful Brew. Your abilities have a low chance to cast Bone Dust Brew at your target's location, plus the Kiefer's Sky Reach, allowing you a big, massive increase of critical strike chance so that you can just absolutely KO your target. Um, one thing to know with this, why it's coming in a little bit lower on the list, you know, I said it was going in order of power. The reason it's coming in a little bit lower is because, as I was reading some articles, Bountiful Brew may have a very low proc chance. So while, you know, on the face of it, looking at it, Getting Bone Dust Brew for free could absolutely give you kill windows that Windwalker didn't have before if it didn't have um, its Bone Dust Brew available or its images available. Um, but if it's such a low proc rate that you're just really never seeing it, perhaps this one falls short. Wanted to leave that one because I know a lot of people were looking at this. I was initially looking at this like, they're going to get Bone Dust Brew more than they normally get Bone Dust Brew. These spinning crane kicks are already crazy. Are you really going to do this to me? Um, but it does have a low proc chance, so this one might not work out too well, but it's one definitely to keep an eye on as a Windwalker Monk. 
you could be happy that you're getting even stronger. Moving to the next set of legendaries, we are going to be looking at Mage, and particularly the Frost Mage as Necro Lord. So the Death's Fathom, Fathom Legendary uh, means that your Frost Bolt has a chance to grant you Deathborn, big scary skeleton form. You're going to be beefing up your Frost Bolts by a lot. You get conduits that increase the duration of this proc Deathborn as well as your active Deathborn. And Frost Mages are chunking people right now for massive Frost Bolts. So getting that paired up with Triune Ward to make sure that you're covering your defense, covering your purge protection, because Ice Form can still be purged despite Icy Veins not being purgeable. This will give you purge protection. This will give you beefiness. You'll have Fleshcraft plus Triune Ward plus all these procking skeleton bad <laughs> baddie moments to try and take down your opponents. Uh, it, I think that Frost is going to have a great position uh, moving into 9.2 as a combination of these legendaries now available. Moving to the next set of legendaries, we're going to be taking a quick glance over at the Subtlety Rogue. Uh, and with this one, you are going to be getting Resounding Clarity as Kyrian Rogue. Uh, you will now have Echoing Repimend, ch Anima Charging 4 combo points. So you're going to be beefing up the real hard-hitting Eviscerates. If you couple this with Finality, um, Eviscerate Rupture and Black Powder increase the damage of your next finishing move by 25%. That's going to be a lot of modifiers stacking together. We've seen what happens when a lot of modifiers stack together. I'm looking at you, Spinning Crane Kick. Uh, this could mean eviscerates that are absolutely eviscerating people. Uh, maybe that was too straightforward. Either way, you can see this is going to be a lot of burst damage. Subtlety Rogue is definitely leveling up even right now in the current patch, and this one could put it into an entirely different domain, specifically uh, because of the kidney shot sap mechanic on healers, this long crowd control chain that is instant, plus now this combination of massive burst damage means that it is going to be a real terror, one to keep your eyes out on out for and also maybe one to check out or start making i know i might by myself uh, i've been kind of wanting to jump over to the subtlety rogue and this is kind of driving me a little bit more and more now moving to the next combination of legendaries we have beast mastery hunter uh, and much similarly to the frost mage you're going to get defense and offense now beast mastery hunter is absolutely knocking people over you will now get the pouch of razor fragments as venthyr which means bonus kill shots from your flayed shot cost six targets within 12 yards to bleed for 60 percent of the damage dealt by kill shot this is a tremendous amount of sustained damage um, and now you don't have to gamble it and lose your defense from giving up craven stratagem because you can use them both at the same time which reduces the cooldown of your feign death by 50 15 seconds and allows it to remove most negative status effects from yourself so beast mastery hunter definitely stepping up it looks like the the winners of shadowlands just you just keep on winning you just you're only winning at this point beast mastery hunter is going to be a beast in 9.2 with this combination as venthyr and now finally the last combination of legendaries who could have guessed it you know we've been kind of alluding to it the winners keep on winning and this specialization easily you know best designed in my opinion with shadowlands with all of the unpruning had a ton of amazing utility return to it i'm really hoping that a lot of other specs get this type of tune up for the next expansion because if they do man it is going to be a banger um, but now moving into 9.2 this spec is getting even beefier uh, it definitely didn't skip arm day uh, and that's going to be the arms warrior specifically as kyrian so you're going to be able to get Elysian Might, which is Spear of Bastion's duration is increased by 4 seconds, and while you remain in the Spear of Bastion, your critical strike damage is increased. Critical strike damage is modified in PvP. I think it is slightly less than the 25%, but regardless, if you land a crit while that Spear is down, somebody is dead. Now along with this, you're going to be able to get Enduring Blow. Warriors have a ton of legendaries you could go through. The main reason that I put this one uh, on top of this list was because it will provide you sustained damage. Your Mortal Strike will have a 25% chance to apply Colossus Smash, affect your target, which means that you can run the Mechanico Soulbind, which reduces the cooldown of the Spear Bastion. If you get an Enduring Blow proc, proc down that spear it's almost like you had warbreaker you are going to be cooking people alive and this one's going to be a lot more certain in my mind than the windwalker one because the bountiful brew might not be that high of a proc chance warriors are absolutely out of this world i've had the most fun ever in shadowlands making a warrior myself you can pretty much play any covenant and there were a lot of crazy combinations but i had to pick one for what was going to stand out the most at the moment um, and it, it was this one for Kyrian. So if you haven't made one yet at this point, 
I don't know what you're really doing, but this is this is where the good times are uh, at the moment. So definitely check it out, Kyrian Warrior for 9.2. But that's my list currently for the top seven overpowered legendary combos in 9.2. What do you think? What's looking good to you? I, uh, let me know down in the comments down below. There were a couple of runner-ups. You know, I was thinking about Demo Lock, uh, Decimating Bolt, Ellie Shaman, Necrolord as well. Really close runner-ups uh, for these double legendary combos, but I wanted to make sure that I hit the seven best uh, that I could figure out at this point. But class changes could still happen. Maybe we see some nerfs to some of these legendaries. So if you want to stay up to date with those changes, make sure you're subscribed. Other than that, if you'd like to check me out on twitch.tv slash I'm streaming there every day at 11 a.m. PST. We're doing viewer games. So if you're just struggling to find somebody to play with or you want some help pushing some rating, I've been able to help people every single day get to their next rating goal, unlock some gear. We do some battlegrounds to grind some honor. I know that there's a lot of honor that you need to grind. So definitely check me out over there, twitch.tv slash Other than that, thank you very much for watching the video and sticking with us here uh, as we go through the Shadowlands. And we will see you in the next video.